But here it starts. He starts establishing the rhythm. Clams pick it up and oysters. And he's beating on lobsters, whatever. At the Walt Disney Studios from 1984 to 1994, a perfect storm of people and circumstances changed the face of animation forever. But it almost never happened. Here it is, April 9th, 1980. This is the pass to all you folks out there. And um, we're going to go inside and see what it's like. Come on. Revisions. A hundred <laughs> drawings go in the trash. <laughs> The fact is, is that the last couple of animated movies made were not particularly good. That year, we were beat out at the box office by the Care Bears movie. We knew we hit rock bottom when the studio told us that we were being kicked out of our own building. I think after that meeting, we all kind of said, we're going to make great films. The work was intense, the hours were long, and there was only one thing that could stop it all, margaritas. This crew is the best crew. It's fabulous. <laughs> Can you really do what you want to do in animation? We have to do in this company. That is our legacy. From the producer of The Lion King and Beauty and the Beast comes the true story of the players. Hi, Tim. This is Tim Burton. And who are you? I'm John Lasseter. He's the cameraman. And the passion. The real heartbeat of this company was, is, and will always be the film business that fueled one of the greatest comebacks in entertainment history. And the winner is Beauty and the Beast. Told by the people who were actually there. We were a group of artists living the dream. We went from hitting rock bottom to creating the most successful films ever. This is the story of how we got there. Waking Sleeping Beauty.